Hi, welcome to the Godly Mom channel today, right here in the Godly Mom's kitchen, and uh, made another video a few moments back. Uh, we were making chicken noodle soup. The soup is done. Mmm, can you smell it? <laughs> Wish I could give you all a bowl. But what I can give you is something else out of the book of John, John chapter 12. So please get your Bible, if you have it handy, and uh, read along with us. But first we're going to pray and we're going to bless the, the reading of the word. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your precious word and for the opportunity and the, the ways that we have to share it all over this planet. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, <laughs> you told us that in the last days we'd see signs and wonders and that truly signs and wonders would follow us as we believe. And oh, Jesus, we are seeing it. Thank you so much. And I ask you to bless the reading of the word, and the ministry, bless the hearers and the ears to hear. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And amen. Okay. In John chapter 12, uh, from chap verse 42 on through the end, Jesus was talking about walking in the light. <clears throat> he is the light. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> so from verse 42, let me just read this portion of scripture to you. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. So then Jesus cried out and he said, he who believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world, and whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. I have come as a light into the world. Isn't that good? Jesus said, I have come as a light. Verse 47, And if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. So he who rejects me does not re receive my words, has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority. But the Father who sent me gave me a command, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. Wow, that really ministered to my heart. And I've got some rhema words, some real revelation out of that. And I want to share that with you today. See, at that time, right there at that season in the ministry of Jesus, there were a lot of rulers that believed. Oh, they had faith. They said, Jesus is the Messiah. Yes. <laughs> that boy from Nazareth. Woo! He is it. We see everything that we had to learn and memorize in the prophecies. Everything Isaiah said. Everything Daniel said. Everything Jeremiah said. Yes. All the things that the Old Testament pointed to. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus was obviously the light of the world. Mm. But a lot of those men were scared to admit it. They said, we're not going to tell anybody that we believe on Jesus. We're going to lose our jobs, you know, 
I'm recognized <laughs> in all of Israel. See, I have my, my temple robes. I have a good job. I'm respected. And if I start saying that Jesus is Lord, <coughs> maybe they won't like me anymore. You know, we can get that way. I don't think I want to witness for you today, Lord, because after all, I'm talking to people very rich, very affluent. <laughs> they might be famous. <laughs> and maybe they won't like me. Maybe I'll lose my job. You know what? That means you love the praise of men more than the praise of God. Yes. <gasps> you say, God would praise me. Yes, God compliments you greatly. And he blesses you and admires you and said, look at my child, bold enough to talk about the Savior, bold enough to tell my gospel of my son Jesus. Yeah. And God says, way to go, kid. <laughs> Yeah, you get out there. You go, baby. <laughs> so in the middle of all of that, it looks to me like Jesus was standing around maybe the temple porch at this point. And these guys were standing around. And they say, Psst, be quiet, you know, we're listening. We want to listen to what he says. <laughs> Jesus spoke out. He cried out. He said, oh, time to preach. <laughs> Everybody who believes on me, you're believing in God. He sent me. My father sent me. So when you believe on me, you believing on God. Are we saying we believe in God? We believe in Jehovah, the true and living God, but we're denying the Lordship of Jesus? <laughs> Might be that we love people's opinion of us, well, I believe Jesus was a good guy. I think he was real. He's gone now. We must live by his teachings. And I believe that he did do some good things. But that time is over. No, I'm sorry. The Bible does not teach that. God never said that. Hmm. Let us be cautious in our platforms in our speech, in our declaration of what we think, at least, is God's word. Let us be cautious. Let us stay with it. Let us be true. Mm -hmm. Let God's word be truth and every man a liar. Okay, We must stay with God's word. Because if we believe in Jesus, we believe in God. If we believe in God, we're going to have to believe in the Savior that he sent. Does Jesus live in you today? Are his words alive in you? Because he spoke what he was. Jesus was the word. In him was the word. And the word was in God. And the word was God. You can't separate God from his word. He is the Lord of let there be. And there was. So Jesus is let there be and there is. He lives in me today. So if you are listening to the godly mom and you believe what I'm telling you because, yes, I'm reading the word to you. I won't give you anything else. Then you believe in Jesus and you believe in God, Elohim. Jehovah, Adonai Shama, the Lord is here. 
El Elyon. Oh, the Almighty. Just like Jesus, I don't want to say anything to you that my Father and my Lord would not say. Jesus said, I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command. Gave me the command of what I should say and what I should speak. Even Jesus, the Savior, submitted himself to a holy God, his Father. And even now, sitting at the right hand of God, on a throne of lordship, king of kings, lord of lords, sits there because he submitted to his father's will, who said, come on, son, do it. <laughs> I give you lordship. I give you kingship. And Jesus said, yes. Okay, dad, I want it. <laughs> Yes, I talk really personal about my Lord because he looks at me in a very personal way. Yeah. Jesus finished by saying, I know that his command is everlasting life. So whatever God commands, man, I want to grab on to it. And what I can't seem to grab and get right, I know his grace and his mercy is going to pull me to that place where I can do it. Glory be to Jesus. I ain't, I ain't nearly as bad <laughs> as I used to be. And bless God, I'm not there. I'm not perfect. I'm not where I ought to be yet. Not on everything, but I'm not where I used to be. Thank you, Joyce Meyer. <laughs> I like Joyce-isms. Yes. <laughs> because she speaks God's word, too. Thumbs up to you, Joyce. <laughs> let's, let's be light and salt in the earth. Be light. Be light. Don't be darkness. Be light. Mm -hmm. Jesus is in you. I really can't help but be shiny. The more I stay in the presence of the Lord, and I love him, and I know Jesus as my Lord and my dear friend. I know. I know that I know that I know. <laughs> I can't help but be shiny. And I want you to feel that way too. And so many of you do. And I want to encourage you. I am right here right now because God said, Quit whining and take the tools that I've put in your hand and trust me with them. Now use them for my glory and watch me bless them. I said, okay. <laughs> and now I'm preaching all over the world. And pretty soon... My feet are going to touch the shores of the lands he's called me to outside of my own. Because God has given me the inheritance of nations. And I will walk uprightly in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for light. And that you have a good plan. And I just pray, Lord, that this word encourages my beautiful ones out there. And Father, if anybody listening to the sound of my voice doesn't know you, that they'll just cry out and say, Lord, here I am. I believe in you. I want to give you a chance. Give me a chance. Do something with my life. And you will, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, wind for blowing around this world. Thank you for revealing yourself to us as we shine light. Shine light. And we give you praise. Thank you for healing everyone in the sound of my voice and bringing peace to their lives. 
and meeting every need. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I'm so glad you stopped by today. This soup is smelling good. I want to get a bowl of soup. <laughs> so, y'all stop by anytime. I love you. Love to my kids. Mwah. Jesus is Lord. Come back now. <laughs>